today we're going to talk about my hack at the office supply store so that I could get five extra awards on this, which was a purchase at the Apple Store online. But actually, the Apple Store doesn't qualify as one of Chase's office supply categories. Office supply categories get 5x bonus ultimate rewards. Ultimate rewards are the universal travel point. They're transferable to basically any travel partner in the world. Now this business cash ink is such a great card. Most of my ultimate rewards points I've actually gotten from this card because I'm very strategic about maxing out those five extra rewards bonus categories. You have probably been scammed in your life. We all have as American consumers. The US government is a scam, college is a scam, student loans are a scam, the nine to five, ticket master fees, diets, diet culture. There are so many scams. Every day we get scammed out of our money, out of our time, out of our freedoms, right? Okay, so let's scam back. How are we gonna scam back a little bit? I'm not talking illegal, but I'm, I'm talking hacks. And I'm all about hacking credit card points. You've seen my videos on the Chase Trifecta, Ultimate Rewards, traveling for free using your credit cards. And I have a file your LLC video. The main reason to have an LLC, honestly, is so that you have a business credit card so you can do this amazing hack that I just recently did at the office supply store. As a woman in my early 30s, I need a lot of processing power. I was ready to upgrade to the MacBook Pro. I was previously limping along on a 2016 MacBook and I spend all day working on my computer. So it's important to have a nice one just like your bed and your desk and your food. These are things that we spend the most time on that are worth investing in to make our lives better, to make our operating systems give us the best possible user experience in all ways. So this isn't to convince you to buy a MacBook Pro. What this is to convince you to do is to use your Chase Inc. business cash or your plus if you have the paid ink. I have the free one here. You need an LLC to have this card. LLCs are easy to form. Watch my video on how to form an LLC. The main reason you want to incorporate is to avoid taxes, write off business expenses. There's so many other reasons. I'm not gonna get into it, separate video. Leave a comment below if you wanna know why you should file an LLC, even if you don't have a business. It's crazy, but it's true. But today we're gonna to talk about my hack at the office supply store so that I could get five extra awards on this, which was a purchase at the Apple Store online, but actually the Apple Store doesn't qualify as one of Chase's office supply categories. Office supply categories get 5x bonus ultimate rewards. Ultimate rewards are the universal travel point. They're transferable to basically any travel partner in the world. Airlines, hotels, cruises, you can even use that to buy rideshare credits on Lyft or Uber. You can use it for rail, Amtrak, just whatever you want, ultimate rewards are the way to go and they're transferable. It's the most powerful possible credit card point you could have. I'm a huge ultimate rewards fan. I pretty much put all of my purchases on my various Chase cards. I've got the trifecta. I have the Chase Freedom, the Chase Freedom Unlimited, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, and the Chase Inc. Now this business cash ink is such a great card. Most of my ultimate rewards points I've actually gotten from this card because I'm very strategic about maxing out those five extra rewards bonus categories. My cell phone bill, my internet bill, my Spotify, these are all business expenses that bill to this card every month and rack up five extra rewards points. But I wanted to get beautiful MacBook Pro and Apple Store wasn't one of the bonus categories, so what do I do? How do I get 5X? Here's the hack. It's actually really simple and it's legal. There's nothing wrong with it. But, but I will tell you, I, I do feel like I'm scamming back a little bit. Like I'm like, eh, eh, yeah, I'm gonna get you back because I'm a consumer and, and I deserve it and I spend money on stuff all the time. So there's no victim here. If, if there's a victim, it might be Chase, but no, because I bank with them. I spend tons of money on my Chase credit cards. I recommend them to my friends and make a YouTube video promoting their product, like please, it's good for them. Here's what you do guys, real easy. You go to Staples or Office Depot or Office Max. You can do this online or in store. You buy Apple gift cards with this credit card as your method of payment. That means that however much you spend on those Apple GCs, it's going to get you 5X ultimate rewards points on office supply category. 
Then you load that Apple gift card into your Apple account balance using your Apple ID. Then you go onto apple.com and you buy whatever you want to buy, like a beautiful MacBook Pro with the M1 chip, which is the native chip that Apple has created. So this thing is processing so fast. I'm, I'm, I actually have already unboxed it and I'm in love. I'm in love. So worthwhile. Treat yourself. You're home, you're working, it's, it's the Rona times. You gotta have a good laptop. <laughs> I'm not even here to promote this product. I've just been so excited. I finally got like a really nice new laptop. So you go to the Apple store. You can do this on your mobile phone. Desktop doesn't matter. You can go in person to the Apple store and tell them you want to use your Apple gift card balance, which is linked to your Apple ID. And then you've already loaded in the codes from the Apple gift cards from the Office Supply store. Make your purchase. If your MacBook Pro costs $1,500, instead of getting one extra reward point on, let's say if you bought it with the Chase Freedom, plain old Freedom, when you load in your Apple gift cards on your Apple balance, you can do this at apple.com slash redeem, easy to do on mobile. You just scan the card. You don't even have to enter the code. It's so fast and easy. Load them all in. Now, first figure out how much money you're going to spend at the Apple store. So getting the new MacBook Pro, let's say you get a certain um, nicer one than like the base level is about 1300. Let's say you get the $1,500 one, or that's how much you think you're gonna need. And you can pay for taxes included on this Apple gift card balance. So just get about as much as you think it's going to be. Don't get too much more because it will just be sitting on your Apple account and you might not spend it. So say 1500 even. Buy a $500 Apple gift card times three. 500 is the max on the Apple gift cards that they can load. So get three of them. That equals $1,500. Load it into your Apple balance. Check out. Say, pay with Apple gift card balance. Make sure that you do that. Don't accidentally do, oh, use Apple Pay, put on my credit card. Don't do that, because then you're going to have it on the wrong card. <laughs> the point is to spend that Apple gift card balance that you got from Apple gift cards that you bought on your Chase Inc card at the office supply store for five extra rewards. And then your MacBook Pro shows up and it's beautiful. And you've just made 7,500 bonus points in your Chase Ultimate Rewards portal. Can't recommend this method enough. There's even another little hack that I'm going to share with you. And this one has to do with using your Chase Inc rewards to buy Whole Foods and Amazon groceries for 5X points. Make sure you subscribe to this channel Give this video a thumbs up and comment below if you want a video about getting five extra rewards on your groceries. This is amazing. You're gonna be over 100,000 points very quickly. I have almost a million Chase UR points. I will be traveling the world. I'm coming to Southeast Asia as soon as possible when this all opens back up. These ultimate rewards are gold. And I can't recommend this method highly enough. You have to get back what you can. You're being scammed, I'm being scammed scam them back a little bit. Make sure you thumb this video up and subscribe to my channel for more lifestyle, finance, investing, and other hacks, as well as some voice marketing and podcast stuff. We do all kinds of things on this channel. I'm not niching down. I'm doing any topic that interests me and helps you. Thanks for watching.